to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars Alright, James Dirt RC here So after riding in the snow the other day I noticed clicking in my uh, my differentials um, I think it was in this one or it could have been in here, but I think it was this one because it kept every once in a while it would like bind up or something. Um, and so uh, I made a video, I'll show you. I took the differentials apart and put actual real bearing grease in their high temp. And uh, the gearbox too. I took the gearbox out and put some grease in there. And, um, it's exactly what was happening. The water from the snow outside, I'm assuming, uh, watered down the grease that was in there. Because it was just, like, gray water. I had to soak out of there and wipe out. So I cleaned it all out. The metal gears that came with it looked fine. So, put it all back together tight. Watch some videos first. Thank you, Edward WPL. Um, and put some grease in there, put it back together, put some grease in there, put it back together, put some grease in there, little spot by the metal gear with all the plastic ones, it's a metal one in there, next to it above it is an open space, so I put a bunch of grease there. Um, the reason for that is it'll catch and pull itself into the gears after time water whatever um so there's extra grease in there totally changed the sound of it completely quiet made it just smooth um show you here I've done to this. I put spacers back down in here to raise the body up from there. Took the springs out, cut them down a little, and stretched them so they're a lot softer. Um, when you go over something, it won't bottom out as bad. Um, because of the spring and how I have it adjusted, it's perfect. Um, the front one too, put smaller springs in there. So it sits a little lower. Um, and then I put a drop of gun oil in, the, in with the springs. I took the... I took the rod out of the spring of the shock and I put a piece of leather around it and cut it around the head and made a little washer seal so it's like a damper for the for the shock so the shock um, doesn't bounce around as much it's a lot uh, it's not as these, these stock ones are pretty nice you put that thing in there and it, it settled it down real real good um, what else have I done? Painted it a few times. I got this little guy in here. It was, uh, some G.I. Joe guy thing. Been laying around. Took his legs off. He still is a little tall, so, uh, he lost his hips. <laughs> Cut his waist off. And he fit in there perfect. Just drop a glue right there on his shoulder. Holds him in there. Pretty good. Looks pretty cool. And then... A rapid monster came with cones, so I hot glued some of those in there. And then I had an idea. This guy's legs were just laying there. I was like, oh, I could use his boots. So there's some work boots in there. Um, 
glued all this stuff on this time after painting it black because I really like it. Um, I like it too because uh, with the paintbrush it makes it so that acrylic will chip so it's kind of cool. I get little chips in it when it wrecks. Um, let's see, um, what else have I done? Uh, I adjusted the front end a little bit so it doesn't have as bad bump steer doesn't bother me. Really doesn't while you're floor buying or crawling I haven't even noticed it. Um, one thing that was bugging me was turning left it wasn't turning very sharp. So I started noticing that on the insides on the insides of here there's a couple of on the one side where it hits there's a couple little overhang peg type things and well I took my knife in there and cut them off and rounded it a little bit um, I've seen a video where a guy did a Dremel thing and I did not want to do that I don't <laughs> crazy and so cut that thing off so now it turns a lot better um, another thing I did to this thing is uh, the tires I took the tires off the rims and um, I put oh I can't get it anyways I have a spool of solder and it's thick solder for the big solder gun not a pen and so <coughs> excuse me I used that and in the center of the rim was enough uh, so I wrapped it around twice and cut it so it was perfect and then put a little bit of glue on there to hold it and did that on each one of these so there's weight underneath each one of these tires and these stock tires after running it on my little rock wall thing running it they're really not that bad um, I like the way they look. I wouldn't mind getting some of those bigger puffy ones, but at some point I'll get uh, replace the plastic with some metal. I imagine at some point I'll need new. It came with little pieces for the uh, drive lines, but they're plastic. They're not going to last forever. So I'll have to get some metal drive lines. That might be the first thing I get metal drive lines. You know, I don't even care about the speed. And with this 180 motor that these come with now, it really is, it crawls just fine and goes fast enough. Um, what I do, just playing around, it is so much fun. Oh, uh, another thing I did was, this thing always popped open. And down here is little tabs, and also little tabs on here. So what I did is I took my, um, my needle nose pliers and I grabbed the tabs down here and I pulled out and twisted a little bit and so these tabs that are on the inside here I kind of just pushed down with my finger a bunch of times and now it clicks so when I roll the battery doesn't come out also too is this little battery there's so much room in there that I cut a piece of foam block and that fits back inside there in the tray and holds the battery tight. Oh. Yep. And um what else? I think that's it. I think that's all I've done to it so far. I'll start making some videos doing crawls once the weather gets a little better. It is literally freezing rain right now, so can't metal detect or play. So we'll do it inside. Anyway, so thanks for watching my videos and um, my other channel is Dirt Diggler Metal Detecting. I have like 500 videos metal detecting if you want to check it out. Uh, like, subscribe helps the channel. Thanks. See you on the next one. Alright, so I drove this in the snow and I started hearing and clicking and 
you can see uh, the water totally turned the grease in there to gray water. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I just took this part off with the drive line there just slides out and I'm drying it up best I can getting that out of there um, once it's open you can see the inside of the differential I just hold the paper towel there and soak up some of that water and you can see it metal gears are shiny and then I have this grease I have no idea this grease here is for my my BMX bike um, I use for my sealed bearings and stuff and it's a industrial grease it stinks and it's uh, pretty it's not super thick but um, coating the gears the inside a little bit um, clean around the edges so it seals up nice uh, put this thicker grease in there it should hold up a little better to the water and snow because I ain't done it's still icy outside so Hoping that takes care of the problem. Starting to feel like it was binding up, so I thought maybe I would check it out. Good thing I did. Now this only goes back together one way, which is good. Um, you want to make sure you slide your drive line in correctly. It has a little pegs that will fit in there, and it only goes one way. You just keep turning it until it fits. to hit record so I got the gearbox out ready to open it up it is dry barely any grease in there be cool though screws there's some on my mess they don't get bumped I haven't lost one yet and if you drop one you have a magnet find it pick it up that and my other channel I have 500 videos of me metal detecting so up in a screw I have the equipment to find it. Alright, my phone black in here. 
I love this thing. Thank you, WPO. 